much a bit to review. Here and today we're going to do a review of Bonicon at DX set and Body Chan DX set gray version from SH Fig Arts Bandai. Review of SH Fig Arts Body Chan and Con. I'm doing both of them because they're exactly the same. And I have to give a big thank you to Xavier Cow for giving me these figures to review. I'm so excited for them. I just love them. I'm going to use them for my work in general. But let's talk about the boxes. They are just beautiful. Like, I love to have that as a paint. And it looks actually look like paint. And then here it's either like crayon or pencil. And here's more like a paint from the more like a dryer version or something like that. I love it as bright. And I love that they have like uh, three posters here. And on here it shows lines where uh, an artist would draw and showcase it. I love how it's a little bright. This is shiny. Actually, it's a little bit of like a texture to it. Oh, this is Bandai SH Fig Arts on it, and in this, and the you know Japanese or like that, and the SH Fig Arts here has a little body chan here, a little rainbow here. Um, here's more poses, preview poses, and hat body con right here. So to get you interested in getting body con, and more on our post and more paintbrush look, showing case it uh, how it would photograph and how to use it when you draw and then when you paint. And a showcase of what it comes with. And same here, same thing, body chan and more rainbow. Same here as well. Different, you know, it's body con instead and paintbrush, pencil. This one has orange, it's a different color wise than body chan. Uh, it showcases where the lines when the artist would draw of him. Same thing, you know, rainbow here, body con. Uh, showcases on here. How preview pictures and this one on here it was show it shows paintbrush but on here it has pencil instead uh, um, and then it shows a little preview of what he comes with he comes with a lot of both of them come with a, 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 a wide arrangement of uh, accessories and it shows body chan to get you interested in getting hit now let's open them up and in their packaging it come, as you can tell they come with a wide arrangement of hands you see in all these hands they come on a tree so if you um, want to hold on to each one and so you don't lose them. Some more hands here. They come with a base and they're a nice big large base. Um, and it actually comes with a sword, a little cell phone, a pen, a laptop, a, f a book, a phone, a gun, and the bomb piece of the laptop. It's in like a little Gundam piece thing to hold on to them. It's like take them apart to be able to uh, be able to showcase them. and. Body comes with, comes with the same stuff, sword, everything, and base. They come with really a really nice little booklet. It showcases the uh, uh, little sketches and body con as well. Let's talk about body chance one. We open it up. It says support posing, which showcases some some poses. And here it shows in the pink how much can move or what how it can rotate. If you turn the page. It showcases how to uh, pose it, how how it would photograph. And here they actually have a really nice uh, thing to show you. Like if you take a picture of it and then you put it into Photoshop, you can blur out the joints and start creating an image. Your own choice. And so they're showcasing the work they've done on the image. And they have the final version of it on the back. And here it showcases what Body chain and body comes with a very wide arrangement of hands. You can also get the flesh tone version from SH Figures, but they only come with hands, and so I would suggest to get the blanks. The blank grays come with a lot more. So if you go and look at body cons, same thing. It shows support posing and it shows him with his sword. Oh, I love it. And it also shows how much more he can move, what we can rotate, and showcases the nerve pose right here. If you turn the page here, show how much he can pose, how he would photograph as well, and it showcases a different image. So it's using both figures, both by Chet and by Kun, the draw. So it go from sketches, and it's really nice. And then it shows from going from paint or doing from Photoshop, as you can show. This is Photoshop or either other program you want to use. And then they show the final image on the back. Again, shows what right arrangement. Now look them out of the package and showcase amazement of who they are. Alright, I just gotta give another big thank you to Xavier Cal for these figures. Just, they're stunning. They're really great. I, I love them and I'm so excited to have them. 
you know, and first impressions, I love them. They're great for posing, great for gestures. They'll be great for any artist, who, any inspiring artist that is looking for a really great um, muse to use for their art. I love them, and I would, you should love them too. I haven't got any accessories, I just love them in general. I'm excited for them. Uh, I love how it's a really nice gray flat. They, um, it can go with anything, and you can use it for anything at all. Any character you want to do, and I like how it has some shadowing here and there on them, and it's shining a light. Let's talk about the accessories now. For thoughts, I just got to I'm amazed of how much accessories they they come with. SH Figures and Bandai have done an amazing job to bring us the uh, the customers an amazement or arrangement of of accessories. Now let's talk about Bai Chan. She comes with a, definitely a wide arrangement. Of hands to be able to hold and everything, and it has this really nice tree to be able to hold on to your hands because her hands in general are smaller than body con. Um, it has all the different hands right here, and it has the other hands here, showcases all of it. The smallest hands in general are ones that are fisted. Now she comes with these accessories that the hands can hold. She has a laptop that can close and open everything. It has a little, little thing to be able to have it hold it. And this one has a little hinge. Be careful, do not break it. She has a really nice sword. She uh, has really nice uh, detail to it. She has a little flip phone that sadly does not close, so she cannot do any hang ups on people. She comes with a little pen. Be careful, do not lose it. It's a really small. She comes with a little updated phone. Or tablet, one or two, more like an iPhone. Actually, actually, in the back, it, you can see it has a little camera too. And she comes with a little pistol, I think, I believe. It has a little thing to be able to hold it. it has some deep to it, some little markings here and there, and where the bullet took them out. And here, either it's a book. Or the tablets, one or two. It's wherever you want to hold. It, it's more for what gestures, but you can make anything out of it when you want to. Now let's talk about her stand. It's an amazing stand. It can move all like this, move like that, go from side to side. It has this piece. So they all see it's a little crotch piece. So they'll hold on to it. These things can move as well. A bit like that, all the way. And you can either put this this joint here, this little hinge joint there. You can move it either here or place it to one of the two places. And this actually has a, a cover for the case. This case is a base that will put on if you want her higher up. And also can hold all your accessories. Now let's talk about body con. Body con comes with the same amount of arrangement. His hands are bigger, of course, because he isn't a male. So it comes more hands, so same tree as well, bigger more hands as well. It comes with a sword, with a laptop, another phone or a booklet, a little pen, a little iPhone, a flip phone, and a gun. I wish the game was like a rifle, but they do not. Maybe you can buy a rifle separately. And the same thing. This one, I put a different stand on it. It does the crotch piece, but it still has the same mobility as the other one. Uh, it can show it. You can move it like this and everything when you want to pose them. And it actually looks really nice. And it comes with another case that will hold all these accessories. To fit everything into the case, it actually fits really nicely. All the hands are able to display. There's actually a little hook thing to be able to put all the hands onto here. This is a separate one to be able to hold them. But I was able to get all the like the accessories that are miscellaneous that can move around. But they actually can hold them here. This is actually pretty tight. So it will stay in here. I accidentally said earlier that this piece can go here. I am mistaken. It's just a mold piece. It just looks like that. It would go there, but it does not. The only piece that was not able to fit into the case was this piece, the crotch piece, to be able to hold on to them. But I, I can just put that somewhere else. Um, but I, they, I'm glad they thought about those. They were thinking about me, especially. I would have lost all these pieces. But I'm glad the case, they had this case to come with it. They really thought about the customers. Thank you, SH Figures and Bandai. So the measure them, Body Chan actually comes up to 5 inches. And then Body Con goes on a little under 6 inches. 
simulation. They, these guys just have a wide arrangement of uh, movement and a lot of ball joints that don't move. Uh, they got a little wrist movement here. And they can move it from side to side. Move it a little up and down. Showcase the actual ball joint right here. You can see the hand has a little bend at the elbow right here. And can bend like this. And you can see the large joint right here is shown. And you can go up like this and stretch across. Sorry about that. We will talk about you later. And they can go up like that. You can turn this and swivel a little bit right here. Move like that. This thing actually can move as well. Move it down. Move it across. Move it up that way. And do like this. Move like this. And it'll be able to bend that way. This head can move up all the way down. Really, really a long way to be able to go down. And can move all the way up. Neck moves side from side, head can move like this and turn all a different kind of direction. His check to move from side to side, it can move a little, can move really a lot far away down, it can move all really far back, which is really nice for movement. And this little hip moment, his leg can go all the way up like this way, can go down, move like this, really kick that back. And moves like all the way back. Then it can go all the way up. And you can do stretches. Not stretches, you can uh, splits. I mean, splits. Sorry. This foot can have a little bit of movement here and here. And then this front of the foot can move well. You can see the little joint ball right here showcasing it. And so it's like that. Same here, move it. And you see his little tissue right here. That everything you can move pretty far. You can make a little, definitely a lot of gestures with this figure. Now let's talk about body time. You can tell she has a smaller figure, smaller build. She has smaller hands and a slimmer legs. The thing about her, she has more of a subtle little leg joint. It's more of a little smaller ball joint as well, and smaller feet. But they have a still wide arrangement. They have you see a little joint right here, clearly right here. Her foot can go all the way around. Um, they have a little movement on the toe, you can move up like this, hold down, move it sort of side to side, her knee can go up like this, a little bend, she can go all the way up like this far, and then she can go all the way back this far, showcase that, she can do the splits, showcasing the little joint tree here, it actually looks really nice, I love how she can pose, and you can see the joints right here as well. Her uh, torso can move as well. She can move all the way down, see like this. She can move all the way back like that. Actually, her bend, her back actually has a bend to it. It's really nice, and it showcases like the little muscles that she would have. I love how this is really nicely uh, made. A little bit bend to the side and that side. Actually, really, really looks nice. Her little hand has a bit of movement on here, a little bit, and there's a little bit of wrist action here. She can move it a little bit, not much, but a little bit. She can move that much like that. And you can do it to the side like that. She has a bend of the elbow right here. And you can see the little joint right here. You can go all the way out like this. And you can go all the way up as well. She has to move it all the way back like this. Right here, move it all around. Her head can go all the way down like this, and go all the way up. Move it from side to side. I love that, you know, it, she actually, it's funny, she has like little small ears compared to his. And on the face, uh, the reason why they made it was blank, so you, you, you can make any character. But she has a little tiny nose too as well. Looks really nice. I love it, and her boobs are pretty nice too as well, and her butt. Really cute. I made her butt look really nice and cushioned. Look how this joined us. As you, you must be familiar with this kind, what I call a mannequin. He's a more rudimental figure that you use for when you do dress drawings, but he doesn't have as much wide range of gestures you can do. You can only move a little bit here, as well as these guys, body chain, body cut. They're more useful to be able to use for artists. And as you can tell, they are scared of him. He's just old and basic. I'd rather have the body chain, body cut than him. This is really outstanding. I love this. Let me zoom out to be able to show the whole figures. 
together. Then this man can wear a beautiful pose like this. Look at Five Chan Monica. They do amazing poses. Five Chan without the stand. And look how I was able to get Monica with with the stand, but just holding his shoe. Look at that. It's just amazing all over. I love it. So say my final thoughts on these two beautiful and simple figures that are really great to have. Any artist is going to want them, any spy, young spy artist or any big artist, any, anybody that's going to want them, or just a fan of uh, figures in general. But it, mostly for the artists are going to want these. Uh, I love them. I definitely want to use them a lot. I definitely want to be able to use them. I definitely love the stands. They're going to be able to, be able to use a lot of them, be able to do tons of poses, tons of gestures. I, I would suggest you to get them.